Gamers, I snuck into a Genshin Impact event to try to talk to the CEO. Well, it wasn't that crazy. At TwitchCon, there was a Genshin Impact booth, and I moseyed my way over there because I wanted to see people like Zyox, Atsu was there, Fob was there. I wanted to go and meet them in person, and I also figured maybe it would give me an opportunity to talk to Hoyoverse. Now, if you don't know, I am not in the content creator server, so I can't play any of the characters early and test them the way some of the other creators do. Other creators have full-on guides, full-on testing every character before I can even touch the character. And it's very hard to compete, and I've wanted to try to rectify that and fix it. But if you guys remember, I also didn't get into the Zenla Zone Zero beta, the last one that happened. And for some of the Twitch streamer events, I didn't get any rewards. In one of the first ones, I had some of the highest viewership, but I didn't qualify for rewards. Other ones with even just the free Primo Gems or Stellar Jade, I didn't qualify, and I wasn't able to apply and do any of them. But have things changed for my channel? Actually, surprisingly, yes. Let's talk about it, but first... This video is sponsored by Displate, who makes these awesome metal posters of your favorite games, movies, and more. Whatever your passions, they can do it. And I've got a few special recommendations with the link down below. But did you know that they have official brands on Displate as well? They've got Star Wars, Marvel, Elden Ring. Heck, they've even got posters if you like NASA. No matter what you like, they've got something for you. And better yet, they have a massive discount going on right now for Black Friday. If you want to save some money for Black Friday, click the link down below in the comment section or description of this video or use code MTASHED. If you buy one display, you'll get a juicy 35% discount. But if you buy five of them, you'll get a 44% discount on all the items purchased. So what are you waiting for? Display posters are easy to put up on the wall using magnets. So if you don't have tools and you don't want to damage your wall, this is a great way to spice up the place without damaging anything. And these are printed in Europe and can be on your doorstep within four to five days. This offer is available until November 29th, and there's never been a better time to get yourself some art. Head over to displate.com or click the link down below and use code MTASH at checkout to have some massive savings. Thanks for sponsoring the video, and let's get back into the content. So, first things first, I'm in the Zenla Zone Zero beta, so this is a really good sign already, but I want to talk about how this actually happened. I legitimately went to the booth, I was walking around, and I don't want to expose exact names because, like, I don't know. I, I, I still feel like I'm, like, a little bit of a, like, a, a flight risk. But someone at Hoyoverse came up to me and literally said, hey, m -tashed. big fan, you're my guilty pleasure. You, I, I, I like your content. Uh, he's like, I know things have been, you know, tumultuous in the past. And we kind of laughed, and I was like, yeah, you know, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> but we had a really good discussion. And, you know, I said, I don't know if you can link me up with anyone at Hoyoverse, but I would at least like to talk about the future of me as a creator and Hoyoverse. I can't take back the things I said, and I don't want to take back many of the things I said because I believe in them. That's why I said them. However, I have talked about things like leaks in the past because other people talked about leaks, but that is something that can get you pulled out of creator servers like the, the content server. I did have some drama in the Discord and I got banned. And so I'm not this like perfect angel. I completely understand if they don't want to be in bed with me and work with me in any sort of capacity. But at the same time, I am a large creator that's been covering this game, and I think that from time to time, I can make a pretty good video. And so I asked, is there ways that I can maybe get into the creator server? Can I get into the betas and play the game because I want to cover them and I want to make the best content possible? And when other people can test the character, all the builds, all the things before I can even play it, it makes me feel unmotivated. But one of the biggest things we talked about, and I hope there's change, and something that they said actually makes me feel like there will be, is we talked about the leaks. Leaks are terrible for anyone covering these games, because by the time a character comes out, 
Everyone knows everything about them. They know the damage multipliers, the kit, the teams. They plan everything. And if I don't want to get a copyright strike or I wanted to be in a creator server, it's like, well, I I can't I can't take advantage of any of the hype this game has. I'm essentially rehashing content a month or two months later when they officially launch, and it's probably a fraction of the views it could or should be. And I'm frustrated with that. I don't think that that should be a thing, but they have said that it's an internal thing that they are looking, especially for something like Zenless Zone Zero being a new game. They don't want everything getting leaked. And so I hope that they can fix that. And the fact that they are aware of it and are working hopefully on fixing that, I think is a good thing. I understand preparing and getting ready for a new character is helpful, but sometimes it's like two months in advance. Like, I wish there was a little bit of mystique and hype and excitement around some of these things. But for me, by the time these characters roll around, I feel like an idiot covering it. And I feel like if I don't jump on the trends and do the leaks, then I'm not making the best content or the most valuable content for my audience either. And so it's been this, you know, frustrating thing. And I'm glad that we had a discussion about it. As for the content creator server, I, I don't want to reveal everything that I said or they said because it's like, I'm trying to rebuild this relationship here. But the quick and nitty and greedy and dirty and whatever you want to call it is, I said, I'm not deleting all my old stuff. I am I, I I know that maybe sometimes I'm harsh, but a lot of the things I've said, I believe. I think that you can spend lots of money on this game, insane amounts of money on this game, and you got to be really careful. There's lots of different things that I've critiqued in the energy systems and, and things like that. But I also have played the game for three or four years, and I know that there's a lot of good free content out there, and a lot of people can enjoy this game. And I like playing them, right? And so I want to work with Hoyoverse and be able to, to make content and be in the creator server and all those things. But also, we haven't had a good relationship. And so they said, I think that we need to go bit by bit here. Even getting into the beta is like a really good sign. And this is probably one of the first tests of can your boy be trusted? I haven't really done leaks anything like some of those other people do some people are showing like crazy stuff they're talking about damage multipliers i don't really do any of that stuff and so i think i've been pretty good i've been pretty responsible and the biggest thing is they never said i can't critique the game it isn't about that it's about me someone who does have a big voice was i maybe too harsh in the past and it's like is there someone at Hoyoverse that was probably like, screw this guy? Probably. Let's just be honest. It happens in Destiny. I know I know it's happened to people in Destiny where someone at the company doesn't like them and, you know, they don't get any, any opportunities anymore. But at the same time, I think that being an echo chamber and never taking any sort of feedback is a mistake as well. And so they didn't shut that down. They didn't say that was a bad thing. They said, yeah, do your thing. Be you. And they still are willing to at least start opening the doors and trying to repair repair the relationship, which is honestly really cool. And so I hope that with Zenla Zone Zero and into the future, I can get into the creator server, but it's probably not going to happen just yet until, you know, they realize I'm not like this crazy flight risk that's going to leak everything or something like that. Because I certainly could, if they gave me access, I could, you know, not listen to embargoes or anything like that. And, you know, there's, there's a lot of stuff that, you know, as a big brand, do they need me? They don't need me. They've got a lot of awesome creators already making content. And it's like, maybe they want to be safe. And that's fine too, right? But um, it, it, it does appear that the dialogue is open at least. And that's exciting because it means that you know, maybe down the road, I will be able to make some of those early guides and and test those early features and things like that. So that's all I really had to say. I'm excited for it. I'm going to be streaming tomorrow night as soon as this drops. I think it's like 8 p.m. or something like that. I'm going to be grinding the hell out of the, uh, the beta because I'm going away to a, a hockey tournament on Friday, the next day. And so I'll try to make some videos on it um, as soon as I can. But that's pretty much it for me.
We're really excited that I actually got into the beta this time and can test it out with you. Because one other thing they said is you will like Zenless Zone Zero. They, the guy at Hoyoverse, he's like, you're going to like it. He's like, I know you're going to like it. Uh, so that almost has me excited because maybe this one is more up my alley. Maybe it's got more endgame. Maybe, you know, they didn't elaborate, but maybe. So I guess we'll see. Have a good one. See you soon. Bye-bye.